Nine times out of 10, when you are working on a project, all of the data that you need will not be contained within one table. So that's where we come in and use joins. There are left joins, right joins, inner joins, outer joins, but today we're gonna be focusing on left and right joins. So what is an a left join. So a left join is a type of operation that we use that retrieves all of our data from our left table and then we are able to pull back matching records from the right table. So if you think about it in the setting of two tables, one's on the left, one's on the right, you want everything in your left table and then you want to pull back matching records from your right table. So we'll get into SQL in a bit and I'll demo that for you guys, but I wanted to first start off in Excel. I always say this, you guys need to learn Excel because there's some concepts and logic that's used in Excel that you can apply other places. So for example, I'm going to demonstrate this first in Excel using VLOOKUP. If you're familiar with VLOOKUP, then the concept of a left and right join will make sense to you. But if not, I hope you guys find this portion of the demo helpful. So what I'm gonna do first is build two different tables in Excel. So give me a second to do that. So what I'm going to do is build out, we're going to do an ID, ID name, uh, let's just see department, uh, salary, if I can spell. And our second table I'm going to build out that has the I, let's say it has name, ID, ID, name, name, ID, salary, let's say title, title, and department. So let me fill out this information with some random details for these employees. And I'm just going to duplicate this. Okay. Okay. So we have our table. Let me actually make these a formal table. Okay. So we have our two tables here. So imagine this is what's in the tables that this is table a we'll call it this is table b so let's say we want to pull back everything from table a but we need to pull in the titles for the people that are in table a so i'm going to demonstrate this with a vlookup vlookup but this is the same concept that a join would do it would bring everything back from your left table and bring back the matching records from your right table so let's go ahead and do that so i'm going to add in title and i'm going to look up do the vlookup to look up based on their id so look up this and look it up in this table and the column that contains the title is column three in the right table. And I want an exact match for the VLOOKUP person. Oh, uh, what did I do? Oh, period, C. There we go. All right, so we have our title. So that's the concept of a left join. Give me everything that's in my left table and only bring back matching records in the right table. So as you could probably imagine, a right join is doing pretty much the opposite. We're going to bring back everything in the right table and only the matching values in our left table. So let me demo that So with the VLOOKUP. So if we do, we want to bring uh, out their salary if it's available. And again, it works that it only brings back when there is a match. Oh, if I can spell here. Uh, I need to name this uh, salary. Wait, oh, hold on, did I bring back the wrong one, two, three, oh. This should be column four, y'all, sorry. All right, so 
this is how it works so you see that these three employees are not in our left table so it did not bring back those records so again it only brings back everything well it'll bring you back everything from your right table and only the things that match in the left table so left joins and right joins are kind of like opposites of one another but when we get into i'm going to use um, bigquery which is a tool that you can use um sql in but when we get into that you'll see that like most people we don't use right joins because i can if i want to bring back everything from the left or from the right table I can just switch it around and make it my table that's on the left so in practice yes it's great to know what a left and right join does but we can just switch it around like I don't have to like I can define that I can make this my table on the left if I want all of the records here and only the matching records from the right table so let's go ahead and get into that next Okay, so we are in BigQuery where we're going to write a small query um, to demonstrate left and right joins. So um, we've used this data set before, which is like the bike share data, like the trips and stations. So this is the trips where you can see the um, field names, the different columns that are in there, and I'll preview it so you can see that. So we have the trip ID, subscriber type, bike ID, station ID, this Thing. Oh, cancel. All right. And then for our bike share um, stations, we have station IDs, name, status, location, address, power type. So you can see that there are more field names in the station data set than there are in the trips. But let's say that I want to write my query where my trips are going to be my left table and I'm going to join it to the station. So the field name I'm going to take from the stations that's not in the trip data set, I'm going to look at the address since that's not on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to join it on a field name or column name that they both have. And they both have the station ID. I don't know if they're named exactly the same. Station ID here and is it called station ID here as well so start station ID so I'm going to join start station ID to station ID and I'm going to pull back addresses from the um, the station table so let's go ahead and write that so with our query we're going to write select and I'm going to what am I going to select? So I'm going to select the start station ID. Well, actually, let me copy the table name. We're gonna do, and I'm gonna call this table trips. When you're writing your queries, your from statement whatever table that you put there is your table that's going to be on the left okay so whatever table you put in your from statement that is your left table just so you're aware so i'm going to put and i am giving this um, table an alias so like if tables have the same field names you do need to declare which table you're pulling that field from so as a default, when I'm joining two tables, I just alias them and give them a different name. So I'm gonna call this trip. Oh, hold on, I called it trips. Uh, I'm just gonna put trip dot start station ID. This another field I'm going to bring from here will be what am I gonna bring? I can put the station name, the start station name. Oh, hold on trip dot start station name and then for the bike share data I'm going to bring back the address uh, let me grab the table name and I'm going to do a left join so this is station 
I'm going to alias it as station and I'm going to call it station dot address, which is the All right, so our select is what we're saying we want to pull back, like the fields we want. So we're selecting these specific fields that we want to pull back in our query. So we want to bring back every, um, we want to bring back all of the data from our left table, which is our trip data set. And we want to join matching records where we can find the address where the stations are the same. So we said that we're going to join on the start station ID matching the station ID. So that's what I'm going to put on. Now you can join on multiple things to kind of narrow down your set, but just be mindful with your joins because you can turn like a left or a right join to what's considered like an inner join where you want everything to match. So just be mindful of that. Um, yeah. So I'm going to join on my trip dot start and this is the column that's in common. So even though they have different names, they are they contain the same data, which are the station IDs. So and you'll find that is common throughout databases like the column names are named something different, but they have the same data. Like for example, I've seen where employee in employee ID is is written as like one word and then another table will have it written as employee underscore ID same data just different names okay so we're going to or you'll find they have the exact same names in some cases but let's go ahead and write this out so we're going to do trip dot oh it's start station ID equals so we want to join on the trip station ID or the trip start station ID matching the station ID in the station data set. All right, so we're going to do, oops, I didn't mean to collapse that. So we're going to select the trip date from that trip data set, the start station ID, the start station name, and from our station data set, we're going to select the address. So we want to bring these two fields from our trip data set. We want to join or, or left join. So we want to join to our left table where there's matching records from the table on the right. And the table on the right is our station data set. So I'm going to uh, let me actually do something. I'm going to limit my results to 2,000 rows. And let's run that. So we can see these two columns, again, are from our left table. So we're bringing back everything from the left table. So we should not have any like null values unless it was null in the original data set. We should not have any nulls in our start station ID data set. It would only be um, null if it was that in the original data, but we want everything that's in our left table and only matching records in our right. And actually all of this is the same. So let me actually run this again without the limit. See if it shows anything different. Yeah, so we can see other areas where we got our join together. So that is the left join. Now, Let's say that we wanted to get everything from our right table and only matching records on the left. So we can change this into a right join. So in the right join, it's going to bring back everything that we requested from the right table, which right now the right table is our station data set. And the only thing, the only field that we've asked for from that data set is the address. So it should bring back every address and then only matching records that have like the um, start station name and the st start station ID from our left table. So let's run that. So you see we have the addresses and you see here there's no matching records from our trip data set for this address. So that's why the values are null here. We're bringing back all of the addresses from the right table, but only where there's a matching record from the left table. So that's how it should look. But what you will see in practice, what you will see used is like I never use a right join and I've never seen anyone 
like anyone's query or anyone use a right join. And the reason for that is if I want to bring back everything from my right table, I can simply move it to the left. Like I can switch these around, you know, like I can move this. Let me put this back as a left join. I can simply just switch the order in which I retrieve my tables in order to accomplish the same thing. So this is what we do in practice, honestly. Like you're not really going to see people use right joins because if I wanna bring back everything from the right table and only matching records from the left, I can switch them a right. So my right table is moved to the left and my left table is moved to, like you will more like, I'll say there's a 99% chance of you seeing only people using or you see like other data analysts and scientists using left joins than a right join like I've never seen it in my five years of being a data analyst so. This is what you'll see us use in practice honestly. We'll just switch it around. And just to show you guys that we are still bringing back everything from our table on the left and only matching records, I want to go ahead and add in like that one address we saw as null. I went back and located it. So if we put that as a where statement where the station address equals this, we can see in the query when it brings it back that there was no matching in the original then there's still no match like when we did the right join and remember we swapped the tables around so now it's on the left still not bringing back a match so hopefully that helps <laughs> and shows you how it it works the same so that is it for a left join how we use them and why people typically don't use right joins so i hope you guys found this video helpful if I missed anything, I will try to link some resources to give you some more information on the differences between left and right joins. But I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.